SPM, Form 4. Chemistry. Chapter 3, Chemical Formulae, and Equations. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes, of Chapter 3. Chemical Formulae, and Equations in the form of Concept Map. In this chapter, we will learn more about, the relationship between the mole of the compound, with the number of particles, particle mass, and gas volume. We will also learn about, the way to build formulae, and balance chemical equations. There are six main sections in this chapter. 3.1, Relative Atom Mass, and Relative Molecular Mass. 3.2, Number of Moles, and the Number of Particles. 3.3, Number of Moles, and Mass. 3.4, Number of Moles, and its Molar Volume. 3.5, Chemical Formulae. 3.6, Chemical Equations. In Section 3.1, we will learn about, the concepts of relative atomic mass, and relative molecular mass. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state the meaning of relative atomic mass, based on the carbon-12 scale. State the meaning, of relative molecular mass, based on the carbon-12 scale, and state why carbon-12, is used as a standard, for determining relative atomic mass, and relative molecular mass. Calculate, the relative molecular mass of substances. In section 3.2, we will learn about, the relationship between the number of moles, with the number of particles. At the end of this section, you should be able to, define a mole as the amount of matter, that contains as many particles as the number of atoms, in 12g, of 12c. State, the meaning of the Avogadro constant, and relate the number of particles in one mole of a substance, to the Avogadro constant. Solve numerical problems, to convert the number of moles, to the number of particles of a given substance, and vice versa. In section 3.3, we will learn about, the relationship between the number of moles, with its mass. At the end of this section, you should be able to, State the meaning of molar mass. Relate the molar mass to the Avogadro constant and relate the molar mass of a substance to its relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass. Solve numerical problems to convert the number of moles to the number of particles of a given substance and vice versa. In section 3.4, we will learn about the relationship between the number of moles with its volume. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the meaning of molar volume of a gas. Relate the molar volume of a gas to the Avogadro constant and make generalization on the molar volume of a gas at a given temperature and pressure. Calculate the volume of gases at STP or room conditions from the number of mole and vice versa. In section 3.5, we will learn about, the chemical formula of an element. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state the meaning of chemical formula, empirical formula, and molecular formula. Determine the empirical, and molecular formula of substances, compare, and contrast empirical formula, with molecular formula. And solve numerical problem, involving empirical, and molecular formulae. Write ionic formulae of ions, construct chemical formulae of ionic compounds, and state the names of chemical compounds, using the IUPAC nomenclature. At the end of this chapter, section 3.6, we will learn about, the way to interpret, chemical equations, for a chemical reaction. At the end of this section, you should be able to, State the meaning of chemical equation, identify the reactants, and products of a chemical equation. Write, and balance chemical equations. Interpret, chemical equations quantitatively, and qualitatively, and solve numerical problems, using chemical equations. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.